Molina YouTube channel. I did an earlier video on the production and arrangement of the song Crazy by Seal, produced by Trevor Horn. And you can find that video on my YouTube channel um, right here. It says uh, Seal's Crazy Production and Arrangement Secrets, how Trevor Horn produced a huge hit. Um, that's a pretty in-depth analysis. Uh, it's over 30 minutes, and I really go into the nuts and bolts of some of the special effects and production techniques that Trevor Horn used to make uh, this particular song by Seal a uh, mega hit. It was one of his greatest hits. Um, and prior to that video, I also did an analysis of another song uh, produced by Trevor Horn for Seal called Love's Divine. Very interesting. It's a little softer. Um, this song is a, a beautiful song indeed. Uh, but today we're going to uh, focus on the song Crazy Again. So what I decided to do was to make a more succinct uh, version of the first case study. So instead of 30 minutes we're dealing with uh, less than 10 minutes here. But today what we're going to do is I'm just going to run the song in the background completely from start to finish and I'm going to go through the scenes one by one. So before we get started I'd like to explain a little bit about this template that I designed. It's an Excel spreadsheet that um, you can get a link for it under the video. So under the in the description box underneath this video, you'll you'll see a link uh, to Google Drive, so you can download this template. And you can of course change all these, uh, uh, just clear out some of these fields here in cells according to songs that you want to study. But let me first ex explain how this uh, template works. Here you have um, a stage, if you will. Uh, and of course this is this would be the front front center stage this would be center stage itself um, midsection um, and you have stage left and stage right and over here you have the, the rear section far left far center and far right and in order to achieve a distance in recording what you would tend to do is to either record instruments more lightly to give a sense of distance in terms of volume or in the mix or um, you can use special effects like reverbs, echoes, and delays and such uh, to create a spatial effect. Um, so anyways we go from scene to scene here and as you can see the composition sometimes you'll see lyrics over here in the top left corresponding to the scene you'll see the scene number, uh, what part of the song it's in, in terms of structure, uh, the seconds into the song, so I'm using a particular recording uh, from the best album. Uh, it's a collection of Seal's greatest hits from 1994 to 2001. It, it goes on for um, uh, 5 minutes and 56 seconds altogether. Um, but as you can see here, I've broken it down according to, like, say, melody, counter melody, harmony, and chordal instruments. And I've also noted the chord structure here, uh, the chord progressions for that particular scene. Uh, if they're background vocals, uh, here's the bass. And percussion parts are in olive green. Uh, special effects I note in uh, red, so wherever you see like red is kind of like a special effect to be on the lookout for. Um, here I make a note of the dynamics, which is the changes in the volume level throughout the song from scene to scene, and any particular notes that come to mind that are interesting to note. Um, sometimes they have to do with transitions from one scene to the next, uh, but sometimes they're just particular notes that I've uh, you could refer to throughout the song. So anyways, that's a brief introduction, and I hope you enjoy this uh, arrangement production study. If you would share it with your friends and subscribe and like, I'd greatly appreciate it because this will help me uh, make more videos of this sort. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the video. Angel, 
Isn't that crazy? 